Okay, for this problem we need to solve this quadratic equation and I want to show you guys a neat trick just in the event you really don't like the square root property. All right, and that is that we can actually solve this with the quadratic formula. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to solve this by the square root property, okay, which means the first thing I'm going to do is add 15 to both sides, okay. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this, this x by itself. Dividing both sides by 3, I get x squared equals 5. And then when I actually want to solve for the x, I'm going to square root both sides. Now keep in mind when I square root both sides, I have to put a plus or minus over here on the right side. And so my two answers are the square root of 5 and negative square root of 5. So I can write it this way, x equals the square root of 5 and x equals negative square root of 5. Okay. Now, the question is, can I solve this with the quadratic formula? Sure I can. I get a equals 3. There is no middle term for an x, so b equals 0 and c equals negative 15. Alright, so let's solve this. I get negative b, or 0, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, so that's a negative 15, all over 2a. Okay, that's going to give me plus or minus the square root of 180. Again, note the negative and the negative, make it a positive, all over 6. All right, well, can I simplify this? Sure I can. 180 is 36 times 5. All right, and what is the square root of 36? It's going to be 6. And so now what happens to the 6s? They cancel, and you can see we get the same answers we did with the square root property.